Our last game is another derby. It's the North London Derby between the Tottenham Spurs and the current Premier League leading Arsenal Gunners, which is weird to say. Um, I imagine we won't be seeing it for all too long if history is any indicator here. Uh, sue me if you're an Arsenal fan. Uh, Arsenal are favorites here. This game's at Sunday at 11.30. This also a big game. Uh, Spurs have, not by form, but in terms of just scoring and defense, just have been struggling a little bit recently. But this is a top five matchup. Um, so so tell me what you're thinking here because Arsenal's, I believe last I checked, is a, is, is minus uh, is a uh, minus favorite in this game. Yeah, they were around like the minus 115 area for yeah. this. Again, this, if you guys don't know, this is the North London Derby. This is one of the bigger mm-hmm. derbies in all of England. Heated rivalry. Heated rivalry. I think this could liken to Cowboys and Eagles if you really want to go down to it. Just the way their like fans... It. The, 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 no, they do not like each other, and it goes deep into the fan base. It's just, it's incredible. And again, it's just one part of the city of London, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, so again, away, this is Spurs. Spurs are just insane. I mean, we don't, in terms of just like trying to read them, Antonio Conte is probably the most volatile manager that you will ever find in this sport. <laughs> um, I, I never understood the fit here. Sun has been struggling all season long. Mm-hmm. They've been very inconsistent defensively, blowing leads. Spurs are really just that type of team that steps up and dominates the lesser sides. And when it comes to these type of moments and matches in which they need to step up in and get a result to propel themselves into the top four or get into a, ch- a title chase, Spurs usually fall flat. Again, they're hosting this. I think that's important to note as well. But for me, it's Arsenal. I think over two and a half in this, I think they've been doing a good job of creating without Gabriel Jesus. I think Mm -hmm. they've proven that at this point against the types of teams that they play against. Um, Arsenal and over one and a half is pretty decent value at Caesars at plus 170. And if you go to over two and a half, if that's something that you like, then you're at plus 280. Um, That's really not far-fetched whatsoever. I think this Mm -hmm. is certainly possible. And for me, this is the Bukayo Saka show. I think I think Arsenal have the best wingers in this league with him and Martinelli. This is the type of match that he takes over. I'm not saying put him down for an anytime goal scorer, but I think if you look at the market for a goal scorer or assist from him, that's something I really love um, as well. That's just on the side, like a single play. But again, for me, I, I really like Arsenal in this. I think they've turned a new page. Again, they could easily lose this. Conte can get his guys riled up for this type of match. He's that type of motivator. It's usually sometimes a singular performance, but when Antonio Conte is in multiple competitions, that's when you start to see his teams regress. That's why he won the league with Chelsea. They had nothing else to focus on. With Spurs, mm-hmm. there's so many different things on top of it being Spurs. So Doesn't I'm help. an Arsenal guy. I'm an, I'm an Arsenal guy when it comes to this one. Um, and, and again, this, this is the spot. Pressure's on. City plays the day before. City get a result. Then what? Because again, when we look at the bookies for futures, City, despite being in second, are almost minus 200 to win the league. So again, Arsenal knows pressure's on. Yeah, and I, I actually checked Arsenal's money line as of this morning was actually at 120. That's plus 120. Um, so it shifted so that, on me already. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's that's interesting value if you just want to jump on that. A little worrying, um, but if you want to call yourself a sucker... It's not a bad one to fall for. Um, I liked Arsenal on the money line and over two and a half as well, or if you want to play it a little safer, at over one and a half. Um, These are two of the top fives, or the two of the top three, I believe, scoring teams in the Prem this season, two top five teams on the table. Um, But the Spurs have been a little uh, little susceptible to uh, some weak defense. I'm not saying I'm going for this. I'm just uh, my 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 theme of the show today is just throwing random, just really risky bets at you and seeing if you're just gonna blow me off completely. Oh, uh, you haven't done it yet. Uh, this one might be it. Uh, Arsenal to win to nil plus three ten. No, I mean it's not great. I don't know why you think I why you think I say this. <laughs> you're making me out to be like this villain. Um, no, I mean I mean again, it's not crazy. We're talking about you know Antonio Conte sides are. They can mm-hmm. put in great defensive performances. I don't think he has the talent for it. Um, that's that's really the problem here. And, and again, Arsenal is so sharp in defense. If Son mm-hmm. continues to struggle, I think Kulusevsky has been one of their more reliable and consistent players on Spurs. 
for me, it's, it's just a lack of trust with them. I, I really don't. Almost any single time that they need a big match to step up in, I think, I think if you see a result from Spurs, it's a draw. I would be pretty surprised if we see a win here. I think if you want to look at something in terms of results with that, yeah, you can see a draw. I think this is going to be a low-scoring, grinded-out type of match. And if one team is winning this match in a high-scoring output, it's going to be Arsenal. Um, because then that just means if it's wide open, Spurs have the worst defense. That's where things could start to go crazy and haywire. There's a goalkeeper advantage for Arsenal. There's a defensive advantage for Arsenal. Midfield is relatively even. An attack, despite no Jesus, I still lean Arsenal with the way uh, Son has been playing. Because Son is... Son was top scorer last year. Now he's a shadow of himself. That's that's a big issue in a game like this. Yeah. Um, because again, like if you don't have to worry about a player like that, your focus shifts to Harry Kane. If Harry Kane is dropping a little bit deeper like he does with England, then it proposes some of those problems. But again, plus 310, Arsenal win, one nothing, 2 nothing. Why? It's not crazy. It's really not. So um, I, I see where you're coming from with this. Uh, I, I like how you look at these markets. But for me... Derbies are just a little too haywire sometimes. You can't yeah. really get the perfect read. There's multiple scenarios that could play out. That's why I kind of like to stick to to totals in this one. But, mm -hmm. again, I won't bash anyone that takes Arsenal in this. Oh, I appreciate that. And I, I do agree. Derbies are a little, little too volatile uh, for this. So we have some Italian action and some English action for the weekend. Martino, as always, pleasure to be on. And I'll, I'll talk to you next week for some more uh, winning bets. Can't wait for it.